During my mom's visit the other day, Wendy showed her the garden, and mom also helped move our newest chickens out to this quail hutch slash chick brooder. It is going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He'll put that at the end. Oh. oh. <laughs> he loves it. It's an outtake. <laughs> Before we put the chickens in. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Well, it's before the chickens get put in there. Yeah. Take seven. <laughs> okay. Before we put the chickens in. That's <laughs> so funny! Because you're expecting it now! Okay, okay. Your ears are all red. <clears throat> Before we put the chickens in, our brooder section has two parts. The one on the left has their chick warmer, just in case it gets cold at night. The other section has their food and water. Should be plenty of room for them in there. Got a hitchhiker. You don't want to drown him though. No, just a little bit. Did you like that? Don't come. They might like it today. Don't come out. That's good. Here, look. Water. Water. Go. Not very tight. Look, water. You like it? No. They're getting their feet caught. They're pretty little still, but hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, little chickens. Home sweet home. See, this is the way you go to the other side. There you go.
that earlier video didn't really show very well how the two sections of our chick brooder work. So I thought I'd show you that real quick. I did end up moving their food over to the other side. The chickens all huddled together in the one side next to their food and water and just weren't taking advantage of the chick warmer at all. So by having the food on one side and the, and the water on the other, they get back and forth and just have a little more room, I think. I have okra. Mm. There's basil and stuff mixed in with the tomato. That's nice. And then on this edge, I've got zinnias and calendula planted, so it'll be Do flowers. the zinnias keep things out of the garden, supposedly, or mm. not? Not. Or is I that marigolds? So. I think marigolds are good for some flying insects and stuff, uh -huh. but I don't know. I don't really know very much. <laughs> um, this is all going to go in with the tomatoes and then down at the oh, oh some roses smell no good we have some artichokes in here and then more zinnias and dahlias have you gotten artichokes to eat? We haven't eaten them, but they definitely... Yeah, that's so cool. ...make the artichokes. I'm hoping to get enough to try doing something with it, but I've never been able to figure out how to clean them, so... Oh. <laughs> and rhubarb. More flowers. And then this is my weird garden. <laughs> Your weird garden. Because <laughs> I put everything in here that because we're going to get rid of this bed so okay. anything that sort of seems slightly invasive like it could spread too much i put in here because we're just going to dig it out and get oh, rid, of it. rid of it um so i have comfrey and valerian rue and burdock and some what's other that is that are those like spices four pound well burdock is like a the one i got is like a root that you can slice up and use in chinese dishes and stuff oh. So I was going to experiment with it. It's supposed to be kind of good for you, I think. And then I have four hounds, which I kind of want to make four hounds. I don't even know what that is. They're just old-fashioned candies. Oh, they sort of oh, have an I herby taste. I, oh, yeah, I've heard of those now. I knew it sounded familiar, but... Look at that. squash and pumpkins. A lot of it I had to replant because it just they weren't doing very good when they went in and then they shocked and they kept, it stayed cold too long. I know just this last week is the first time we could actually plant because you have to wait till the snow's off of Blackview. Yeah. And it's gone finally. <laughs> So our neighbors have replaced stuff because they couldn't wait. <laughs> Back here we have a whole ton of weeds and mm, I like elderberries. That. I have six elderberry plants planted in there now and so by next year we should have the fruits. Oh. Which will be fun. I've never had elderberries. They're they're kind of like a huckleberry but is that the stuff it's that the, the pancake house has? It's no, well, the no, that's lingonberries. Lingonberries is what you're thinking of, but it's similar to that. But it's more of a, it's good for your immune system. Oh, so I should eat that. Mhm. Mm so I'm gonna do something with that. And then these are huckleberries right mm. down there that are needing to be weeded. And then these are gooseberries. This one. For some reason, I thought this one would do really well, so I planted the one that looked better. <laughs> and then this one is the one that did well here, sitting in the shade. So I don't know. Gooseberries. Yep. I'm trying to. Do they? Are they round? Yeah. And they have kind of a little paper thing around. Almost them? like a paper thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. My grandma used to make. Them. Yeah. Um, crayon. And and sort of. I think. These ones maybe look like those, but they don't have the paper thing as much. Okay. But then I have other ones that 
that are the like a cape gooseberry which okay. have the pa paper lantern oh. thing around them i think yeah. those are so cool yeah how did your potatoes do last year that you put in the not so good okay yeah we've got a whole bunch of buckets now planting some potatoes in buckets okay. rather than the tower this year what's that big guy indigo no that's indigo to the right a white one that's a boy one isn't it that's stormtrooper is it yes how'd they get so big i know they've gotten really big it's been a while since mom has seen stormtrooper so she, she thought it was a different goat she she's kind of like brian in personality a little bit where it's like which which go? I love you. I'm sorry. I'm tripping you, but I need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Brian does indigo. that too. I've almost burnt myself so many times from Brian trying to give me hugs in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be careful He's with very the cook. Similar to indigo. <laughs> Here. It's not quite big enough yet. And then I had. Um, I had some radishes in here too, but they didn't do very well. So what are the, the ones with the flowers on top? Yeah, most of the radishes ended up looking like that, oh. which is a little disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> what are those things? Radishes. Oh, they are? Yeah, these are the calendulas, which are pretty. Yeah. They're just oh. radishes. And now the goats think I'm going to give them these because I've been giving them. <laughs> they probably like that. Well, I I recognize Sia. Sia, no. Mm -hmm. Valkyrie, Ow. that's electric. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> She's hungry for some reason. Oh, because she Aww. was annoyed and didn't eat her green very well this morning. So now she's starving. <laughs> Valkyrie? No. No. Um, Rogue is. Yeah. That's why she's so wide. That's what I was wondering. Waddly. Aren't ya? You're waddly. So the, there's these, but then there's kohlrabi all in here. And then these are mostly cauliflowers. Yeah, there's a really pretty one right here. Yeah, we just noticed this one today. Oh. Purple cauliflower. Purple cauliflower. Isn't it pretty? That's cool. Yep. Does it taste the same? Mm-hmm. And then there's cabbages in the middle of everything. Like here. Yeah. And then Those are huge. these were um, supposed to be Chinese cabbage, but mine always just does this. So I need to just stop growing it. Because <laughs> well, this happens every year. But the goats really is it like it. Because it's so big it falls over? Well, it's supposed to bunch up. Oh. And it just never does. But the goats really like it. So I don't know. Hey, why not? Doesn't and I did waste. pull a bunch of the leaves yeah. when it was little and make it. Speaking of animals that are pregnant, well, so I dropped McGuire off, and Gunner is a, um, let me think, um, a boxer chihuahua mix. <laughs> <laughs> He's really cute. It's always nice when family stops by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment on this video.